Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 8. So in the last episode, Howard's mother passed away unexpected. It was just out of nowhere. It just happened so quick and it was so sad. I could not believe that. As I said in a previous episode, like she was a mother to all of us <laughs> and she played such a big role in a series even though we didn't see her that often but we always knew who she is and she had a big role in the series and then some of you said that the actual actress who did the voice of Howard's mom actually passed away and it makes it even more sad so I'm glad that they decided not to keep you know the character in the series so they just paid a tribute which is so nice and it, it was just so sad I, I have no words for it but hopefully today we're gonna have more brighter and happier episodes so I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so less talking guys let's get started I, I, I was on fire it was like my mind and my body were totally connected like I like athletes must feel when they're in the zone <laughs> what did you do Again, it was miniature golf <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Hi. oh good you're back we have some exciting news mm, what do you okay. have amy and i've been together a long time and a lot of things i never thought possible now seem possible okay <laughs> After a careful evaluation of our relationship, we decided that the time was right to take a step forward. Oh my god, what's that? <laughs> I feel you guys, what the hell is going on? Do you want to say it? Let's say it together. We're, We're getting, getting a turtle! <laughs> what a turtle? Oh. This is why I've been saying we should keep champagne on ice. <laughs> Sarcasm? Yes. That was tricky, because when it comes to alcohol, she generally means business. <laughs> She's not messing well, about we're, it. We're very happy for yes. you. Thank you. Oh, well, that's a big step. A pet is a big step for us. Yeah. No, it's true. But who's going to stay with it? Is it going to stay at Amy's? Sheldon's? Well, they don't shed fur. Uh, they don't make noise. For Halloween, we can dress him as a cobblestone. Yeah. But they poop a lot, so no, you have to clean him bizarre, very often. I know I can outrun it. <laughs> Who would have thought you two would be the first in our group to start a family? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I said! <laughs> well, I thought it was a little unfair that she's always here and you never get a chance to stay over, so I killed her. Nice. The only way to I do. I remember our agreement. <laughs> you can joke about murdering people, but you have to say, just kidding. Yeah. And the more just to make sure. to remember is that I'd never hurt you. <laughs> oh, crap. I have to run over to the hospital and check on a patient. That's okay, Aww. I can come back later. I won't be gone long, just stay here. Okay, cool. Oh, and you sure your roommate's not gonna come back while I'm here alone, right? Because that'll be awkward. Oh, don't worry, she's in Palm Springs. Oh, good. Well, her torso is. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Thank you. I put her in a wood chipper. <laughs> you made it, we're fine. That was a lot of puppies. <laughs> You can't Let's say no to a puppy. How about this one? He's barely moving. He looks half dead. I know. I like him too. <laughs> Perfect for Sheldon. How'd you like to come home with us? I mean, you'll be living with me because we don't live in the same house. But that's not your fault. Like you, we're taking it ridiculously slow. <laughs> you have something in common. Or away for work. Yeah, or if they accept daddy's application to live on Mars. <laughs> well, there's this company that's attempting to establish a colony on Mars, and I applied to be among the first to go. What should we name To be him? honest, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I came in thinking Seth, but he kind of looks Italian. <laughs> You applied for a mission to be a colonist on another planet and couldn't be bothered to tell me? Would you have approved? Of course not. Well, based on your reaction, it looks like I made the right choice. <laughs> it's not like Isn't it's happening right? tomorrow, exactly. right? I got you something for Valentine's Day and I was too embarrassed to give it to you. Wh why? Because well, I got it at the dirty store. <laughs> oh, you went to the dirty store without me? <laughs> Look at you, all grown up! After I parked two blocks away. <laughs> get it, get it for me. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, I, I hope it's, it, it comes with paints and, and it's kind of creative and artistic. Okay, did you go to the dirty store or Michael's? <laughs> no, no, we cover ourselves in body paint and then, then we get on this big canvas and do our thing. Oh, it's kind of a big step for a guy Ooh. who only recently agreed to take his socks off. <laughs> and that wall, yeah. they're gonna put this picture Let's on the wall so everyone can see very, this. When you go back to the store, I want to go with you. Okay, but it's a drive. The one I went to is in San Diego. <laughs> okay, you got a lot of receipts for the Lego store in here. Whoopsie. A $200 R2-D2 is a business expense? Oh, Bernie, you're gonna have to sound a lot more confident when we get audited. <laughs> What's up? Oh, well, Emily ran back to the hospital, so I'm just hanging out at her place. What are you, uh, what are you doing? Oh, is he gonna just Playing wander around, look at her drawers, gonna find, find some secrets too? that he have to, is not I supposed to know? Jelly. So, uh, what game are you... Oh, crap. That's it. That's What's it. Wrong? I can't get Emily's nightstand to close. So? She's gonna know I was looking in it. Why were you looking in it? Well, there's a question I might have a good answer to before she gets back. <laughs> Hang on. No, he's gonna break it. Oh my god! Oh no, no! This is no. not stable furniture at all. You know what? You sound busy. I'm gonna let you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, you screwed! Dude, the whole front came off. Now she's gonna know I was snooping. Raj was snooping through Emily's drawers and broke one. <laughs> we can say goodbye to her already. Well, I thought it'd be a little more... Just more. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm not even sure why we were out of breath. I mean, did, did we move at all? <laughs> oh axis, my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Come on, we are not old, boring people. We can do better than this. Uh, that, that's true. How late did we stay up last night? Oh my god, it's so funny, I can't. Now come on, we are gonna do this! Yeah, you get the paint, I'll rest for 30 to 40 minutes, and then we do this! <laughs> I can't believe you almost had me bring a wild animal into my home. Oh my god, the turtle no bite you. you. I was playing, got your nose. <laughs> we thought you were a genius. You get children to like you. I'm surprised you even care if he likes you, since you're planning on leaving the planet the first chance you get. This again, Amy. I've already had one new hole torn in my body today. I don't need another one. <laughs> I know the odds of you even going to Mars are incredibly small, but yeah, that's it what still I thought. hurts that you would volunteer for something that would take you away from me forever. So you're Can saying go you with wouldn't him? leave me for the chance to be one of the first humans to colonize another planet? I would at least mention it before filling out the application. That's exactly what Leonard Wallowitz, Cuther Polly, Bernadette, and Penny said. <laughs> What? Everyone How knew! You could survive an interplanetary mission anyway. You could barely survive a tiny turtle bite. <laughs> First of all, this has only made me stronger. <laughs> but beyond that, all I Lift his spirit. You know what? Go to Mars, Sheldon. Is there anything I can do to cheer you up? What if I play the Star Trek theme on my nose? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he has so many talents. I'm so yep, jealous. <laughs> well, I think you broke the dowels. You're not gonna have time to glue it back on. You'll have to nail it. Does she have any pillows or wine glasses? She does. Great. Neither of those. Try a hammer! <laughs> Did that feel good? You feel like a big man now? I was going to make you red zinger, but since Mars is the red planet, I <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna remind her about that. Why do you even want to do this? Because he's crazy? Actually, as part of the application, I was required to make a short video answering that very question. You want to see it? Can you just tell me? But I made a video. <laughs> <laughs> it's cooler, obviously. Now, I'd like to tell you why I should be chosen to... Go to Mars! <laughs> Oh my god, his visual I'm effect. I'm exceedingly smart. I graduated college at 14. Top tier. While my brother was getting an STD, I was getting a PhD. <laughs> Being in close quarters, cleanliness is important. My hygiene is impeccable. In fact, animals don't trust me because I smell like nothing. Yet during the seven-month space flight, I can keep up morale with my wacky sense of humor. Hey, Leonard. 
Is there any peanut brittle left in that can? You mean this weirdly suspicious one? <laughs> yes. I think they will accept Leonard, be like, oh my god, we're gonna help you to escape this guy. <laughs> I don't get it. There's actually peanut brittle in <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Please go to Mars. <laughs> Is that I believe, as a scientist, it's my duty to push the boundaries of human knowledge forward. Now, I know that life on Mars will be difficult, but life here on Earth is no picnic. Also, picnics are no picnic. <laughs> Where should we go for lunch? Oh, I know, the ground. Thank you for considering me for this journey of a lifetime. To Mars! Mars. <laughs> Afterwards, Leonard blew his nose and pie came out. <laughs> I would love to see that. Right? Are they All still trying? <laughs> oh. How did you get paint in your eye? Because you wouldn't let me wear safety goggles. <laughs> this looks terrible. She, she's gonna know. It's fine. You just need two more nails. Okay, where should I put them? In Emily's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and run away. Well, maybe this is what you get for snooping. You know, it, it's bad enough that I have to deal huh? with this. Back. Yeah. Oh no. That's it. She's back. Hey. Hi. Better be honest now. How, 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 how's the hospital? What were you doing in there? Uh, well, okay, look, I don't want to lie to you. I, I got curious. I was looking around and I broke the drawer on your nightstand. You were looking in my nightstand. So the first time I leave you alone, you snoop on me. You That's what he did. You my apartment? No. <laughs> Come on, think back. It would really help if you had. She sounds really mad. <laughs> We should hang up. No. No. We better listen. To, are we? No. <laughs> it's too interesting. What happened to snooping is wrong. You're already going to jail for tax fraud. Who cares? Well, we did it. Hell we yeah. Did. I mean, I was on fire. So where do we want to hang it? Well, are you kidding? We're not hanging it. But it's an expression of our love. And our butts not hanging it. <laughs> Let's keep it as a secret. Will you give it to Sheldon and tell him William Shatner painted it? <laughs> God, I love you. I love you so much. Put it in a frame, though. I think I'm gonna go home. Aww. Why? I really don't understand what's happening here. At any other time, learning that you had plans to go live on Mars would be a slow news day. But a couple of hours ago, we were getting a turtle. And silly as it sounds, I thought that meant something. Aww. Why didn't I give her sleepy time tea? <laughs> <laughs> Ask her to go to Mars a with a you. Great deal to me. Do you want me to withdraw my application? What I want is for us to be planning our future together. And in that future, are we on the same planet? <laughs> you because yes, Sheldon. I've seen people make the long distance thing. We're on the same planet. <laughs> Does that planet have to be Earth? Are you asking me to go to Mars with you? I am. Oh, so romantic. Yeah, I'm going to a barren, lifeless environment where the chances of survival are slim to none. I want you there with me. <laughs> <laughs> it counts as an apology. And fill out your application. I suppose being the first people on a new planet would be incredibly exciting. Oh, I know. We could be the first to plant a flag on Mars. No, we could be the first to say, good lord, what on Mars are you talking about? <laughs> we can have fun with flags yeah. on Mars. We could also be the first people to procreate on Mars. You just can't keep it in your space pants, can you? <laughs> if we had a family there, our kids would be Martians. That would be crazy. They would, wouldn't they? We could give them cool Martian names, and we could teach them about Martian history. Like, who planted those flags? And uh, where'd that copy of Mars Attacks come from? <laughs> Guess we'll have to make a new video together as a couple. Good idea. And since you've had such a rough day, I'm gonna let you throw the pie in Leonard's face. Because <laughs> it was the best moment. Thank you for forgiving me. It's okay some point we were bound to have our first fight. Well, it almost happened when you called my apple pie crust doughy. The truth is you were right and I was just angry at myself. Can I ask you one thing? Of course. What? Did you look in my closet? No, just the drawer. You promise you didn't look in the closet? I promise. What's in there? Yeah, what's in there? Don't worry about it. 
<laughs> well, now we want to know. <laughs> oh no, she's just messing with him. Six four two zero one nine eight nine, and that little lady is pie to a thousand places. Oh wow! I'd say I'm sorry I asked, except I didn't. <laughs> you don't oh, have no. to ask. I'm just gonna tell you. That covered the paper Leonard and I wrote. Oh, let me see. Ooh. I have mixed feelings about doing interviews. I like the part where I talk. That's I good. Like so the other man talks. this thing is moving, which is nice. This article doesn't mention Leonard at all. It only refers to Dr. Cooper and his team. Did you even talk about him? What? All I did was answer a few questions about the theory. No, did Sheldon not Leonard. mention Leonard at Why? all? Why? The, the theory he came up with just got mentioned in Scientific American. He ought to be thrilled. No, he might not be. Because he doesn't even have his long. name in there. Think about it. How would you feel if you were referred to as part of Leonard's team? Oh, I'd be incensed. Yeah. So you see what I'm getting at? Grass is always greener. <laughs> Try again. Well, I don't know. We're all group. Just tell me. <laughs> Leonard is as much a part of this paper as you are, and he was overlooked. He's going to feel bad. But I didn't exclude him, and I didn't write the article. Remember that time you didn't get picked to pull the sword out of the stone at Disneyland, and they let that other kid do it? Oh, that kid. Poor Leonard. Ma'am. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for helping us sort through all my mom's stuff. Of course. Aww. I know what it's like having to go through a loved one's possessions. My uncle was a worshipper of Krishna, but after he died, you know what we found? A statue of Shiva. It may not be Crips and Bloods, okay, but in India, it's a thing. <laughs> It'll be good that you're there. Howard's been having trouble deciding what to keep and what to let go. Well, it's hard. A lot of Ma's stuff brings back fond memories. Is that why you couldn't get rid of her drawer full of ketchup packets? It reminds me of us eating out and her saying, quick, nobody's looking, fill your pockets with ketchup. <laughs> Good memories. Oh, you're gonna break the news. Leonard, have you ever noticed that only my name is on the cable bill? <laughs> <laughs> well, same on the research Good. paper. <laughs> and your name is on the electric bill and mine isn't. And I'm okay with that. Actually, your name is on the electric bill. Oh, right. <laughs> this is a disaster. I don't even know what you're talking about, and I agree. <laughs> okay, I have to tell you something, but you're not going to like it. What's going on? An article was just published in Scientific American about our theory. So what's the problem? You know how the penny saver only has my name Shall on it? it? <laughs> <laughs> just they say didn't it. didn't mention you in the article, only me. Really? I know, it's not fair. Let the anger go, buddy. <laughs> you just uh, you relax all your muscles. Yeah. Don't make it worse, Except Sheldon. Uh, that, that's not necessary. No, it is. They're what hold back the urine and the feces. <laughs> Look, maybe, maybe you shouldn't read it. It'll only make you feel worse. Cooper and his team? You should know I had nothing to do with that. At least they're talking about the theory. I mean, yeah, that's what's important. Yeah, you know, it's like when Stan Lee and Steve Ditko created Spider-Man. It's still you know, sad. Was Leonard was part of it. Movies. And now he's just and, and he's far team. richer. It's nice of you to let him keep staying at your mom's house. Yeah, well, I tried putting him out on the curb, but nobody took him. <laughs> just so you know, the power is out. What happened? I called, they said a transformer blew. It's the whole block. It should be fixed by tomorrow. Howie, what's wrong? It's all defrosting. It's okay, it's just food. It's not just food. This is the last food my mother ever made. This Aww. is her last brisket. This is her last meatloaf. This is her last... I have no idea what this is, but... <laughs> oh. This one. Well, I'm about to cry bit? again. No. Oh. Why don't we take it home and put it in our freezer? You don't want to do that. Refreezing not only removes moisture, but it creates ice crystals in the fibers of the meat that can compromise its taste and texture. <laughs> Thank you, Raj. I'll tell you exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat it. There's like 20 pounds of food in there. All you said was I had to get rid of things. You didn't say they couldn't pass through my colon first. Let's invite everyone over to dinner. It'll be like Ma's feeding us one last time. Aww. Look, 
We've got enough ketchup to cover every ounce of it. Oh my god. I mean, who even reads Scientific American? All the scientists? It's kind of a big deal. If it's such a big deal, how come the biggest celebrity they could get for the cover is a molecule? <laughs> can we please just stop talking about it? I'm sorry. What can I do? Nothing. I'm fine. No, no. I'm going to cheer you up. <clears throat> Here we go. What are we doing? I am taking you shopping. My baby is sad, <laughs> and I'm going to make him happy again. What about this helicopter you control with an iPad? Does it have a camera? Sounds good. <laughs> it does have a camera in it. Baby's listening. Leonard. Just gonna spoil him. Leonard. What? I spoke to the reporter at the magazine. What happened? Did you tell him that was my idea? I did. Thank you. What did he say? He said they made the editorial decision to only cite the lead scientist. Why did he think you're the lead scientist? It was my idea. You know, for an extra four bucks, I can have this thing here tomorrow. <laughs> no, Pay for it. Idea, it's needed. The reporter said he's been following my work for a while, and the only reason they even mention it in the magazine is because my name is on it. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working. Well, what if I told you that I added your name to the cable bill? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to steal your oh. money. That's just as well. They had me on hold for 20 minutes and I hung up. <laughs> Leonard! 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 Also, Wallowitz invited us all to dinner. I'm ready whenever you are. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're driving us. All he had was an idea. Well, that is Oh, I thought that Leonard was going to drive him. Please. <laughs> I have ideas all day long. Reverse SeaWorld, where dolphins are allowed to pet people. But Leonard's idea was good. Fine. Then grumpy. What's he so grumpy about? Maybe his girlfriend won't take his side. <laughs> I'm the one who thought of it. Well, didn't he do a lot of the work? Yeah, but now he's happy to let people think he's responsible for everything. And that's why you get an iPad helicopter. <laughs> is it my fault? I have a much bigger reputation than he does. Yeah, but it's he's still mentioning oh, Leonard, right? Is it my right? fault that my name came first on the paper alphabetically? Is it my fault that when the reporter cited me as the lead scientist, I didn't correct him? Hey, look at that pretty bird. Yeah, well, there is your fault. He always needs all the attention. He's such a baby. I know, I know. I swear, he is never ever playing with my helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> gonna hide it in my closet. Okay, He's never gonna find stuff. out. This is the boutonniere from my high school prom. <laughs> oh, wow. A cake from my bar mitzvah. If I find my foreskin, I'm gonna That's kill myself. That's a really big freezer. <laughs> So we've got um, three briskets, four meatloafs, one lasagna. You know, that's noodle kugel. One Jewish lasagna <laughs> and one giant container of matzo ball soup. Ma always kept it on hand in case I got sick. She thought she could cure anything with her cooking. Even the time oh. I got food poisoning from her cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. You got it. Oh. I'm never gonna talk to her again. Oh. Should we tell everyone not to come? No. I wanna do this. Well, I'll keep it together if you can. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not making any promises. <laughs> Glad you guys could make it. Oh, of course. Wow, it looks really pretty in here. Yeah, it turns out half a dozen menorahs really sets a mood. <laughs> Stuart, have you thought about it's what so you do cozy. to power yourself the house? And there goes the mood. <laughs> oh, and a special hello to Leonard, who needs to be mentioned by name. <laughs> no, don't Startled. start. It's but not the it, place right? to argue now. Hey, guys. Hi. Uh, I just want everyone to know, uh, tonight's not a sad occasion. Yeah, we just want to have the kind of dinner that we've all had here so many times before. Good food, good friends, and sometime around midnight, heartburn that makes you pray for death. <laughs> Do you need any help in the kitchen? No, we got it. You guys make yourselves comfortable. All right, hey, you two, we're here for Howard right now, okay? Yes, so please behave yourselves. Son. Of course. So I heard you two uh, wrote a paper together. How's that going? <laughs> no! Stuart! No! Food is amazing. Ooh. Wow. Vegetable that looks really good. That's not true. Can I draw? We've got tomatoes right 
Feels like we could be in an 18th century French salon. Penny, a salon is a gathering where intellectuals entertained each other with sparkling conversations about issues of the day. Oh, so it's like The View. <laughs> Sheldon, The View is a daytime talk show hosted by women. <laughs> it features Whoopi Goldberg. She played Guinan on Star Trek Next Gen. Next Gen refers to Star Shut Trek. <laughs> I would like to propose a salon topic. Ooh, please do, Rajesh. The lead in the Hunger Games is a woman. Marvel has made Tor a female. Wait, who's Tor? You know, Tor, the god of thunder. <laughs> As I was saying, is this a sign that our society is approaching gender equality? Certainly a lot more women are reading comic books now. It's true. At the store, I had to put a seat on the toilet. <laughs> wow, we such a big change. Okay, right, new salon topic. Salons, dumb thing from a long time ago, or interesting thing made dumb by talking about superheroes. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> it, what's crucial for a salon is that we conduct the discussion in an elevated and insightful way. It's all about the execution. Of course you'd focus on that rather than the inspiration. A, a, a new salon topic, what's more important? And I, I guess we change in topic to Leonard and Sheldon. Uh, kind of like, I wish I could talk to my uncle in Chicago. Yeah, now stand back while I invent the telephone. Hello? Oh, hold on, Leonard, it's your uncle. He says you just got burned. <laughs> All adults trying to have an intelligent discussion, at least I am. Howard, what do you think? I guess as an engineer, I lean towards execution. I spend my days trying to take ideas and make them real. Well said, old chap. Now he's a genius? All you ever do is make fun of him in engineering. Yeah, Leonard, please, his mother just died. Be ridiculous. Yeah, so are you. Guys, if I wanted to hear people be bitchy, I'd go to my real salon. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, lots of people could have had that idea, but very few people could have worked out the math the way I did. Lots of people also didn't have that idea, like everyone in the entire world except for me. Leonard thinks he's better than everyone in the whole world, including those fighting for our freedom. Yeah, well, I don't know about you, but I support our boys overseas. And girls. Hey, you already ruined Thor. Give it a rest. <laughs> God. So I'm just supposed to be okay with you? Okay, guys, I think we need credits? to calm down I here. It's getting too loud. With raisins in it. Sheldon Leonard, living room right now. That's it. The game is over. <laughs> you old screwed. She said my name first. That must kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, but this is a very difficult time for my husband. We're eating the last food his mother ever made. Whatever it is you're fighting about, put it aside. Go back in there, be a good friend to Howard, or there's no dessert for either of you. Mic drop. Never mess with Bernadette. You can destroy you. Guys ever notice sometimes Bernadette sounds like my mom? <laughs> I don't hear no, it. No, not at all. Ooh. I know that feeling. I've eaten that much in my entire life. I'm so glad you two are done fighting. Right now, I'm just trying to burp without throwing up. <laughs> Physics Today mentioned the paper. What'd they say? Who cares? Did they mention Leonard? They did. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Good news. I got more cans. Yay. <laughs> Well, guys, what do we have today? First, we had Sheldon and Amy talking about Mars situation. I'm not sure what I would do in this situation. Would I be angry? Would I be like, just go? Or would you like to offer me to go with you to Mars? But I don't know. It's like such an unsecure situation. Yeah, like my partner applied for a mission to go to Mars, but be like, I know it's not gonna happen that soon. So I don't know. Oh, it's a bit tricky what do you think if you had a partner and he or she be like okay i'm going to mars and you found out that you know like so randomly would you be like okay or would you ask yourself like can i go with you would you like to offer me a place <laughs> as well can we apply together so i don't know it's a bit like tricky situation i guess maybe I'm not sure but i wouldn't go to mars in the first place i'm scared of planes and here i have to go somewhere up no thank you <laughs> for like what seven weeks or how many weeks you mentioned for a long time no thank you i'll stay <laughs> here and then in the second episode oh god they made me cry i thought we we're gonna be happy but it was some sort of happy tears because they just gathered 
one more time, eating the last food that Howard's mom prepared. I think it was so nice. Also, it's like a small tribute, just gathering together in a house. But obviously, without a fight, it's not even a party, you know? And yeah, I think it was really, really nice. It's like one last time to remember the person. So yeah, it made me a bit emotional because I'm not handling well emotional stuff. And then also situation with the paper. I kind of think that it's a little bit Sheldon's fault. He could have mentioned Leonard more or be like, if you want to publish our paper, you have to mention both of our names and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's a little bit Sheldon's fault. But at the end, see, they mentioned Leonard's name on other science uh, website. <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand the stuff. So yeah, hopefully the issue will be resolved and we're gonna be friends again. So yeah, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!